Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining. So I'm Christophe Paget from Espace News Channel. Today, I wanted to show you in this special edition, the landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the South Pole of the Moon. So this is uh, an, an amazing event that uh, had to be shown. And I hope you will enjoy this special edition. <music> So what you're looking at is the Indian LVM-3 M4 side boosters being assembled and the, the red material is actually the solid fuel being added to the side boosters. So that's side boosters number one. All being assembled and now being put in his skirt. So that's side booster number one done. And the side booster number two also finished. And that is the pointy part to maintain a uh, acceptable aerodynamic during ascent. So the stage one center core, the L110, is also entering the assembly building, being added uh, in between the two side boosters. This is the C25, the stage two, which also uh, will be added on top of the stage one. There you are. This is the ring that would allow the fairings to be attached to the stage two. That is the payload, the uh, Lunar Lambda Chandrayaan 3. So this is the final check before adding it inside the rocket. This is the propulsion uh, stage, so let's say a stage 3 effectively, which will be installed together with the payload. That is the rover. Okay, I'm double checking that everything is correct. And reinstalled back in there. And now this is further check and installation of the, the pair, the mating of both. Knock, knock. And sent in to be uh, assembled within the, the fairings. So that's the fairing assembled and being shipped to the assembly building to be uh, sent atop of the LVM 3M4. And there you are. And that's a fully assembled rocket. So it's quite a, a lengthy journey between the assembly building and the launch site. So the rocket is being sent from the assembly building to the launch site. So you're looking at the Satish Dhawan Space Center, the only Indian space center there is. So there you are, the rocket has reached its launch site. 
Now this is the uh, Sandrian 3 um, animation. So this is the South Pole of the Moon, where Chandrian 1 has actually detected a huge amount of water in there and good minerals. Now this is the Chandrian 3 animation where you have four payloads. One is uh, checking the seismic um, lunar reaction. The third, the second one is to check the heat transfer within the regolith. The third one is to check the plasma and the fourth one is to measure more accurately the uh, distance between the moon and the earth. So that's the rover with plenty of sensors as well. And with direct telemetry between the rover and the Chandrian 3, which also communicates with the uh, leftover of the um, propulsion stage, which keeps orbiting around the, the moon. Now, a lot of people have joined uh, during this event, which happened on the 14th of July. All across, all across the country. This is uh, this has been a, a very anticipated day for our Indian colleagues and a lot of fans as well. So, basically, what would happen is that. Um, the side boosters will start propelling the, uh, the the craft for up to 44 uh, kilometers altitude. Then you have the center stage um, igniting, and at 62 kilometers high, the side boosters will disappear. At 114 kilometers high, the payload fairing will, will go as well. And around 175, uh, there will be a separation of the stage one from the stage two, and then there will be some sort of going down, and then the stage two will will stop and will leave the stage three to go. That's about 175 kilometers as well. So that's the last time you see this rocket. This is the control tower. And that is the liftoff of the LV M3, M4 from Satish Dawan Space Center. Now you will see that the rocket is tilting more and more towards being horizontal. So for those who don't know, um, to get out of Earth, it is not a straight up um, perpendicular to the Earth's surface, but is actually going around Earth. And it's the speed which would allow um, going out of the uh, Earth and gravitational attraction. So the boosters are gradually changing colors, so at least the, the, the wake of the boosters are changing colors and that's to do with the sun. Um, you see if we're going from yellow to red. So the side boosters have disappeared. This is the animation that you see from the control room. The next stage is to separate the first stage, L110, from the uh, C25, and now from the C25 to the, um, the payload. That is live data showing the separation. And the propulsion module is now on its way to the moon, which will take about a month. 
So this is the control room again. Um, the center top area of the screen, you see actually live uh, pictures from Chandrayaan 3. And in fact, you see the moon. Uh, it is uh, at about 125 kilometers from the moon surface as we speak. So this is the trajectory that is being taken by Chandrayaan 3 um, by a series of boosts um, the trajectory is becoming more elliptical after four ellipse um, orbits is now propulsed towards the moon and in the moon just do a 180 degree shift to actually decelerate and within a elliptical orbit going closer and closer to the moon so that to reach the moon uh, circular orbit so this is the very last elliptical insertion and finally now reach the orbit around the moon at that point the two are separating And the descent is defined as follow. There will be a rough braking phase, a fine phase. So in the winner rack, the rough braking phase, Chandrayaan 3 will go down from 30 kilometers to 7.4 using their thrusters. So that would take about 700 seconds or 714 kilometers to reach that stage. So it looks from the animation that it's very slow, but actually this is very, very fast. Approaching the next phase, very refined phase. Right. So this is again the picture of the uh, control room so on the left uh, live data or pictures of the moon from Chandrayaan 3 and on the right uh, the vital telemetry so this is a 21 kilometers altitude and the Chandrayaan is on this rough braking phase going down to the seven and, a, and so forth, kilometers altitude so now reaching 20. Now, the Prime Minister of India has joined the crowd um, to see what was going on. The uh, Chandrayaan 3 is actually at around 5 kilometers altitude by that stage. So it's approaching the very fine braking phase. Uh, reaching three kilometers all thanks to the help of their thrusters now just to remember that um, this is the phase whereby Luna 25 from Roscosmos has actually crashed onto the moon surface two days earlier so this is not to be uh, sniffed at so those uh, colleagues here were very pleased that they reached uh, that phase they're reaching 800 meters, which is where they're hovering and repositioning the, the satellite in the three axis. And now going down further, 500 meters, 400 meters, three, two, at 150 meters. There is a slight calibration repositioning to ensure that um, the landing zone is flat and all that is being done autonomously. And further going down, 120. Everybody are panicking. <laughs> 60 meter. 
the Prime Minister must be thinking, oh, where is my money going? 50 meters, 30, 20, and touchdown. That is a momentous event. I hope you enjoyed this particular edition. Thank you very much for taking part. Please subscribe to help me through this particular channel to make it successful and have many more um, episodes. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informational for the grown-ups and I hope the little ones have also enjoyed this technology. Thank you very much. Goodbye.